Hello again, this is Alex with another episode of Alex Does Chemistry, the series where I talk about the ridiculous things that can happen when seemingly intelligent people start fucking around with molecules. In this installment, I'll be telling you a little bit about chlorine trifluoride, a chemical that is one of the most powerful oxidizing agents known. But Alex, I didn't pay attention in high school chemistry and I don't know what an oxidizing agent is, I hear you cry. And to you I say, fret not, I will explain. An oxidizing agent is a chemical that accepts electrons in a redox reaction. A redox reaction is, in most cases, defined by electrons being transferred between the two atoms of a redox pair. The atom that gains electrons is reduced, and the atom that loses electrons is oxidized. Thus, an oxidizing agent is one that will cause another atom to lose electrons, and we find that chlorine trifluoride does exactly this. As mentioned earlier, chlorine trifluoride is perhaps the most powerful oxidizing agent known. This includes better known oxidizing agents such as oxygen, which means that chlorine trifluoride can oxidize substances which are generally considered to be fully oxidized already, such as sand or glass, and is thus extremely hazardous to handle. An illustrative example comes from the early 1950s, when an industrial accident resulted in roughly a ton of chlorine trifluoride being spilled. The spilled chemical ate through a foot of concrete and another three feet of underlying gravel, all the while producing clouds of gaseous hydrofluoric acid and other fun byproducts. Naturally, a chemical with such lively tendencies attracts the attention of all sorts of chemists, and since it immediately and violently reacts with anything you might care to combine it with, it found a degree of favor as rocket fuel during the early Cold War era when defense budgets were equal to the task of producing and corralling such hazardous substances. Of course, even in those foolhardy days, chlorine trifluoride earned a unique respect. By way of example, a manual from the period dryly notes that a pre-established and well-drilled evacuation procedure is the main consideration for any facility that handles chlorine trifluoride. Other military applications of the material were tested at the Kaiser Wilhelm Institute in Germany during World War II. There, it was discovered that chlorine trifluoride excelled as a combined incendiary weapon and toxic gas, but attempts to produce the chemical in sufficient quantities proved problematic and were abandoned when the main production facility was captured by the Russians in 1944. Currently, the main use of chlorine trifluoride is in the production of uranium hexafluoride as one of the steps in producing nuclear fuel. So, that's chlorine trifluoride in a nutshell. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you next time, here on Alex Does Chemistry.